we are going sailing again today um, and this time we are going to stay overnight um, so it'll be your first time on board uh, staying on board our vessel um, should be pretty fun I'll show you where we're going to go so the scroll is in come on uh, probably too much Okay, we are here right now and we need to head up around there to Garden Island. There's a yacht club there and we'll be anchoring there for the night. But to get there, we've got to go all the way out the channel and then come back right in and into there. And the issue here is that because it's a mangrove area, a lot of yachts tend to get stuck on here. So it should be quite interesting. Um, we decided to, um, we told Ellen that we were going sailing or busy and he said, yep, I'll come along. And uh, next thing we know, we've got about five boats following us. We've uh, managed to get an armada, so it should be pretty fun. Five of us will be heading across. Um, yeah, stay tuned. very shallow and you got to follow the poles like pole to pole and um, yeah it's, a lot of people get stuck so we're going on a rising tide so if we get stuck we just have to sit around for a little while and float off worst case scenario hopefully that doesn't happen um, yeah bit of a challenge we got a few boats coming along for their first time going in there obviously it's our first time going in so yeah be cool Two hours in open waters, we finally made it to face the challenge that laid before us. It's really shallow here. So we're going Rick out the front. That spotter. That spotter. And show him down the side, Arvin. Mean, you can see the floor. Hopefully, you can see the floor. So it's pretty shallow here. Let's hope we don't get stuck. Right now it's still about, ooh, 0.7, oh, it's climbing again. Yeah, there's these like sandbanks. Alright. It was slightly stressful, but exciting at the same time, as we navigated our way through the shallow waters. Unfortunately, a fellow sailor had run aground. We offered to help, but he was happy to wait for the tide, so we continued on.
further ahead, our friends had managed to run aground too. Shortly after we passed them, they managed to power out and continue. What's that dirt farming? Uh, it's reading it's nothing. <laughs> so we're um, pretty close. Rick, get hold on, alright? Because we're not reading a depth anymore. Oh, there we go, it's back again. Still 0.1. Uh, so much to do. There's a lot going on, isn't there? Yeah, there is a lot going on. <laughs> we got 0.5 under the kids, 0.2, 0.6. It's pretty cool fun, though. Cool fun? Yeah, definitely. That's the worst can happen, run aground I suppose. Alright, we've made it into the channel. We haven't run aground, thank goodness. And now we'll just go in and berth up. Looks good. You can yep. see our spot. There it is. I think we're on the T of this one and this one's booked. So two T's. We then settled into our berths and relaxed overnight with some good company, a barbecue and a few drinks. Good morning lovely people. Alright, so we had our first overnight sleep um, away from the marina on our boat. It's pretty exciting. Um, it was a cold night but we did have a little heater going so it made it comfortable. Um, we haven't got quite got our bedding and this rebirth sorted yet um, but it did make a comfortable sleep. I'll just show you one issue though. <laughs> okay I'm not sure if you can see it but there is a chain and that's the anchor chain that goes right down the center and we thought that would probably pose a problem in the middle of rebirth. It was okay. I mean, it separates us, but it was okay. Um, so as you can see, we're using our um, sleeping bags now. And they're pretty good. They keep us pretty warm. Um, we haven't quite made the birth mattresses yet, but we have got the um, cushions in and we've got to get it sewn up. Um, but yeah, all in all, a good experience. Still a lot of refit work to do in here, but it's saleable so we're going to continue using it and doing bits and pieces as we go. So in the meantime the boys have headed out, they've um, freshened up and they've started fishing. I'm going to go join them after I make myself a cup of coffee. Alright, catch us later. Alright, so we've just left Garden Island and we're heading out back towards the port. Um, we've got to go out, around, through the port, and there's a front coming on, so we've put on our life jackets um, and hoping for the best. Hoping for the best, we're not going to die. Ah, who knows? <laughs> <laughs> it's not that bad, but it is. It, we're, we're probably going to get wet. That's about the best of it, and a bit of wind. But all the sails are down, we're just motoring, so it's all good. We got back after sunset and settled in for the night. Okay, so 7 o'clock in the morning, uh, we're making a good cup of coffee now. So um, yeah, last night the weather came in, it came in at midnight, uh, we managed to berth off, uh, berth or more in our spot at about 8 o'clock, which was beautiful, it was all calm, so it was good. And uh, yeah, now we're getting our strength to go up there and have a barbecue breakfast, which is good, some eggs and bacon, and um, a 
I've noticed some issues with my stuffing box it was leaking and now I realised there was little wire, little holes at the, at the back of the actual nuts no, the bolts, there were little holes at the back of the bolts which I've got to run some wire through there to stop them from unwinding with the vibrations um, which always made it exciting but yeah, all good, so you stay tuned